Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.3 and problem number 3.32. Determine the coordinates XC and YC of the centroid C of the area between the axis, x-axis and the half sine wave ODB and the equation for the half sine wave Y is equal to A into sine pi x by L. Our interest is to find the centroid for this half sine wave whose equation is given by y is equal to a into sine pi x by l. Now, to calculate that centroid, I will consider a small rectangular strip which is at a distance of x from y axis and the width of that strip is dx. Let the height of the strip is y. The centroid for the rectangular strip is exactly at the center which is at a distance of xc from the y-axis and yg from the x-axis. First, we will calculate this xg and yg. Then, I will integrate that xg and yg over this entire area. The x-centroid of the small strip xg is equal to x plus dx by 2 and dx by 2 is very small, so I can neglect. So, xg, I can say it is x. Height of the small strip is y and width of the strip is dx, hence the area of the small strip dA is equal to y into dx. Now from the basic fundamentals, the x centroid for the given figure xc is equal to integral xg dA by integral dA. So first let us calculate integral xg dA. So integral xg dA is equal to integral xg is nothing but x and dA is nothing but y into dx. And the x limits are varying from 0 to L. Hence, integral 0 to L, x into the equation of the curve equation is given by y is equal to a into sin pi x by L into dx. And the limits are 0 to L. So, this is a is common, of course, uh, constant you can take outside. But this is in the formula integral u into v. So, this is equal to, as you know, u into integral v minus integral u dash integral v into dx. So, here u is equal to x, v is equal to sin pi x by l. So, upon substituting, then you will get a into u is nothing but x integral v, that means integral sin pi x by l. Sin pi x by l integration, as you know from the fundamental, this is minus l by pi into cos pi x by l minus integral u dash, that is du by dx, that is dx by dx, that is equal to 1 into integral v dx. Integral v dx is nothing but once again minus l by pi cos pi x by l. So, this minus l by pi minus l by pi is common, hence I can take outside uh, minus a l by pi, then you will get x into cos pi x by cos pi x by l and cos pi x by l integration once again l by pi into sin pi x by l and the limits are varying from 0 to L. So, first substitute L and then 0, then you will get A L square by pi. That means minus A L by pi, first I am substituting L. That is L into cos pi L by L minus L by pi sine pi l by l. Now I am substituting 0 that is minus x I am substituting 0, 0 into cos 0 minus l by pi into sin x I am substituting 0 you will get like this. So this is equal to minus a l by pi into sin pi, sin pi is 0, it goes to 0, sin 0, 0, 0 into cos 0, that is 0 and you will be left with only L into cos pi, but cos pi is nothing but minus L, so you will get uh, the equation A L square by pi, A L square by pi. Hence, I calculate integral x g d a as A L square by pi. Similarly, I will try to calculate integral d a. Integral dA is nothing but y into dx because the area of the small strip height is y and width is equal to dx and integral y into dx and x limits are varying from 0 to L. 
So integral 0 to L A into sin pi x by L, sin pi x by L integration minus cos pi x by L. So minus A into L by pi into cos pi x by L and the limits are varying from 0 to L. Now upon substituting first you substitute uh, L. So minus A L by pi into cos pi x by L minus I am substituting 0 now minus A L by pi into cos 0. Now this is cos pi is minus 1 minus into minus plus you will get A L by pi and cos 0 is 1 and minus into minus plus once again you will get plus A L by pi. So you will get final 2 A L by pi. Hence the x coordinate of the given diagram x c is equal to integral x g d a by integral d a integral x g d a is a l square by pi as we calculated from the previous slide and integral d a is 2 a l by pi and upon some uh, simplifying that is a l square by pi into pi by 2 a l pi pi gets cancelled a l and uh, AL gets cancelled. So XC you will get L by 2. This is the X coordinate answer for the given diagram. Similarly, the Y coordinate of the given diagram integral YG DA by integral DA. Integral DA we already calculated 2 AL by pi. Now our interest is to find YG integral YG DA. So YG from the given diagram you can see YG is exactly equals to YG is nothing but Y by 2 exactly the midpoint. So YG is equal to integral Y by 2 into DA is nothing but Y into DX. So this equation integral YG DA is equal to integral Y square by 2 DX and Y is A into sin pi X by L and after substituting you will get 1 by 2 Y is nothing but a into sin pi x by l whole square and dx and dx limits are varying from 0 to l. So this is a square by 2 a square I am taking outside now 0 to l sin square pi x by l. Performing the integration sin square pi x by l I can write 1 minus cos 2 pi x by l I take and take 2 outside then a square by 4 1 minus cos 2 pi x by L integration. 1 integration becomes x minus cos 2 pi x by L. So minus L by 2 pi sin 2 pi x by L. Limits are varying from 0 to L. First I will substitute L. That is a square by 4. And L minus L by 2 pi sin 2 pi L by L. Minus substituting 0 minus L by 2 pi sin 0. So sin 0 becomes 0. This is 0 and this is sin 60. This is also equals to 0. Then you will get a square L by 4. Hence the y coordinate of the given figure yc is equal to integral yg dA by integral dA that is a square L by 4 pi integral dA is 2 a L by pi as we calculated from the previous slide. For simplification that is a square L by 4 into pi divided by 2 a L then this a and this a gets cancelled L L gets cancelled so you will get pi a by 8. So this is the answer 